The first object is a marker. We need to know the dimensions and proportions of this marker. Note that the length of this marker is approximately 4 to 5 times its width. Well, I have to draw a tall cube. I draw this cube for more beauty with perspective principles. The marker width is 1. Quarter its length. Now I draw a smaller cube and the big cube to create the marker cap. The two lines should be parallel, but because of perspective, they will be a bit different. At the marker end, I have to draw another small cube. You can see how much easier it is to figure out the volume. I am drawing this whole piece in detail. Now that I have drawn the whole things, I have to bend the corners of the cube. These are the details. One arch here. Now a very narrow cube must be added for the part where the marker is inside the pocket. So all parts are a few cubes big or narrow. Drawing becomes much easier by recognizing the volume of each subject. Well, a spindle that an incomplete cone. Let's see it from a few different angles. The cone also rotates. Above I draw a spindle. From this angle it's good. The two cones inside are green and plastic. I draw from the top that we see more of the circle above. So draw an ellipse and draw two sides of the cone with a sloping angle. I draw the top and bottom circles like ellipses. Do you know why it looks shorter? Because we have rotated it. This memory flash is made up of two cubes inside. And we rotate this flash memory from a few angles.